Thank you very much indeed, Colin, and good afternoon. Um, yes, uh, how do we uh, maintain and even, dare I say it, improve services in very difficult financial period, periods such as we're in now? Well, firstly, through the REAP, we, uh, we looked at what the financial picture in this country is. And we spend in local government um, uh, 221 billion pounds a year. Uh, sorry, uh, that's cent central and local. And of, of, of that, 50 billion is local. And 96% of that spend is in four areas. So we didn't have to ponder too long on where we started looking. But of course, the position isn't static and uh, costs, we know, are rising sharper than just inflation, for example, in waste and social care. But of course, that's where we are now. What's things going to be like in the future? Well, our core grants are being affected in variable ways, but uh, we know that uh, uh, if we're using a rough figure, and of course we'll, these figures will be fine-tuned within the next uh, two and a half weeks, um, we're going to be getting a 30% less uh, grant uh, thereabouts, and that means different things to different local authorities, and indeed in the southeast we're better placed because we didn't get as much in the way of government grant as some other parts of the country did. But it's going to affect us all, and the uh, additional support is going to be incredibly scarce. Uh, we know that specific grants, well, you know, anything that we did get, we're unlikely to get in the future, and there's unlikely to be any new ones. Improvement support, you know, invest to save, yep, but I th that, that's a good idea, but I think we're going to have to provide our own investment in the future. And, of course, we know that local government performance has improved. But, of course, it's improved at a price. We've invested in it. And if we can no longer invest, what's going to happen? So the current cuts, we know, are only part of the overall picture. And... Uh, we need to collaborate across the public sector. We need often to be passing the budget to the client, the customer. We know that overall spending is going to be down and uh, we, we, what we will control, we will reduce, we'll have to. But there's hope. And uh, the hope is that we can squeeze more savings. On average, as I say, a third of external spend is on commodities. And Whitehall is centralising this. Local government just plain doesn't use its buying organisations well enough. And how will we in local government be judged if we don't improve yet further? In, sim in simple terms, we just need to know have we got the best price? Easy the Improvement and Efficiency Southeast, which is the Southeast REAP. We, incidentally, we had to find a name that was a little catchier than REAP. Um, we chose Easy, and for some strange reason, because uh, this was chosen two years ago, we didn't include the R word, because we thought that the R word might become a bad word after the general election, and uh, we're, at least we're still here. Um, London. They have, have its own REAP. They called theirs Capital Ambition as well, avoiding the R. Um, but Easy runs a best deal service. So as, as Colin said, it, is, it can be about benchmarking. So you need to know, is the deal you're getting actually a good one? Um, so... Are we using the prices that we've agreed? All too often, local authorities negotiate really good deals and then buy elsewhere. You know, are we managing our demand to get the best possible deals? And most effort always just seems to be on improving the price. 
but then it's not common, as I say, to find high off-contract spend. And are we monitoring things? And the thing that we need to be sure of in the future is that others will be, especially in this era of greater transparency. So, but at the same time, we believe that we can reduce the cost of audit and inspection. This new, uh, new requirement that we actually self uh, self-declare any item of expenditure over £500. In the South East we negotiated and we have software now available for all councils free of charge that will basically comply with this government requirement automatically for you so that it need not cost you any additional money. We are collaborating on major areas of spend. Uh, the uh, public sector in the South East has collaborated on construction. You see there uh, schools. We, uh, uh, we build schools at an alarming rate, uh, where well, well, we did anyway, and uh, we actually got uh, schools to the extent that uh, for every 10 schools we built, we were getting one free. And when you're building for the whole of the southeast, you can, bu you can build a lot of schools. In fact, recently we built nine schools, nine schools for nine different authorities, and we saved enough to buy a tenth. We're, so we're driving the costs down. And incidentally, we hope to get down to build five, get one free. We think we can do that. And... Uh, we're not building cheaper schools either. We're building better schools. The schools that we build are winning awards both for their construction and for their sustainability and, and also, of course, for their design. And another interesting thing is when we take over a project, we stay with it for the first six months of occupation. That's very helpful for the client, the council, uh, because they have the confidence that they know we're around, but also it's helpful for us because we learn exactly what a school behaves like when 2,000 kids arrive on the first day of term. The uh, buildings programme is uh, uh, running currently in excess of a billion pounds worth of buildings uh, that we have under construction, and... Uh, we keep all costs down through early contractor involvement. And of course, the quality is up too. Incidentally, we're moving outside of just the uh, uh, local authority sector. The building in the middle, there is a new police headquarters for the Hampshire Constabulary, and the building on the bottom is a wing of an NHS hospital. And uh, this year, we've got a further 300 million pounds worth coming our way so uh, and we can hello that wasn't planned <laughs> I'll try again no. no okay well I'll uh, I'll continue anyway um, we can do this whilst delivering other policy objectives um, Hampshire County Council headquarters we completely renovated the headquarters, getting 75% more staff accommodated within the headquarters. It's 30% more space efficient in terms of staff per, per square metre or, or per, per uh, square metres of floor area per member of staff. And there's been a 4,500 square metre reduction in the council's use of office space. Which, saved, which also saves them 200,000 per annum on running costs and a 50% reduction in energy costs. And incidentally, with 100% staff satisfaction. Thank you. My first one, he's going to get his own back. 